Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're given this graph, and we're asked which of the following out of our answers could be the equation of this graph. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the relationship between the factors of the equation and the x-intercepts of the function of the graph. So if you have a factor of x minus a, then your x-intercept is going to be a0, right, where a is just some number. So our x-intercepts in this, um, for this function are where the function hits the um, x-axis. So we have right here at negative 3, 0, here at 0, 0, and here at 2, 0. So therefore, the factors are going to be x minus negative 3. So x plus 3, x minus 0, which is just x, and x minus 2, which is x minus 2. Now we have y is equal to x times x plus 3 times x minus 2. And you multiply all these together, and you get your function. Almost. So you might notice here, the, so the way that we can reason this, right, is if you're trying to solve for when, for this first example, right, let's say 0 is equal to x times x minus 2 times x plus 3, right? So we're looking for the value of x when y equals equal to 0. And you can see how that relates to the x-intercepts, right? Because this is the value of x when y is equal to 0. And the way you do this is you say, okay, we have this can be equal to 0, this can be equal to 0, or this can be equal to 0. For, these, for this product of these three things to be equal to 0, one of them has to be equal to 0. So we say, okay, x is equal to 0, x minus 2 is equal to 0, x plus 3 is equal to 0, right? And then you can solve these, right? And you can get x is equal to 2 is your solution. Okay, x is equal to negative 3 is your solution. And you get, okay, we, we, these are the solutions of the equation. So this is the x-intercepts of the graph, 0, 2, and negative 3. So this must be our equation. Except if we look at number or letter B, right? x minus 2 and x plus 3 both have to be equal to 0, right? That stays the same. But not x has to be equal to 0. x squared has to be equal to 0, right? So therefore, if we take the square root of both sides, x has to be equal to 0. So we have 0, 2, and negative 3. Well, that's the same thing we got right here. So how do we know which one it is? We have to look at the behavior of the graph. So if we have the line or the curve goes through the x-axis like it does here, then we know the term associated with it, right, in this case x plus 3, has to be to an odd power. The same thing here at 2. It goes through the x-axis and keeps going. Therefore, it has to be to an odd power. And in this case, right, there's no confusion between a and b, right? Let's just, before we do anything else, um, x plus 2, x minus 3, that's not our options, right? That's just the options we actually got, right? x minus 2, x plus 2, x plus 3, x minus 3. That's just it flipped the uh, wrong way. So we can just cut out c and we can cut out d because they have the wrong um, negative signs. But just looking at a and b are two options, right? x minus 2 and x plus 3, those are good in both of them because they, the function goes through the line, it goes through the x-axis, and both of these are two odd powers. They're both to the first power in, all, in both of our options. But here, for 0, it doesn't go through the x-axis. It goes up to it, and then you can sort of see it bouncing off, and then it goes back down into the negatives again. So if it's bouncing off, that means it has to be to an even power. So therefore, it could be x squared, x to the fourth, x to the sixth. Our only options here are x to the first power and x to the second power. So therefore, we know it has to be x to the second power because that's the only even option. So therefore, we know b must be our final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.